Hello there and welcome to the new Google Data Studio tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how you can use your chart as a filter. So for example you have a chart which has the various customer segment as well as down there you have technology furniture office supplies as well as product subcategory. So we can use one of the charts or maybe combination of the chart to use it as a filter. So for example this particular chart and this particular chart shows uh, different two different details. This shows customer related detail and this shows product subcategory related details. So how we can use this as filter so that we don't utilize a lot of space as a filter over here. If let's say uh, our requirements are different where you have the primary filters at the top but then secondary filters are present as part of the charts for giving the better user experience to the end user. So how we can do that is by first of all selecting the chart and within the data you have the option of uh, under the interaction of applying a filter. So once you click on apply filter and go into the view mode you will see that this is the corporate uh, section. So if I just click it over here all the various charts are updated based on my selection. Similarly if I select anything over here the chart is updated accordingly so and and so forth for the rest of the categories. So this way we don't have to specify a separate filter altogether if those dimension values are present as part of the chart. Now let's see how we can apply it over here. So right now if you see nothing happens if I click it over here I'm I'm just trying to click it over here but nothing is happening but if I go into the edit mode select this chart under the data if I select apply filter based in the inter interaction section and go into the view mode now if you see this hand icon is coming which usually comes whenever there is a link present. So if I just select telephone and communication various charts will update accordingly. Similarly binders and binders accessories the chart will update accordingly based on the selection that I am making. So that's about how you can use the various charts which is present within the dashboard as a filter or I would say as a secondary filter to give the better user experience to the end user. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.